Anyang. So, today is um, a Saturday, um, January 27, 2024, and it's around uh, 7 17 p.m. So, medyo late, but I'm still uh, within 7 p.m., 8 p.m. mark. So, anyway, let's continue with Hogwarts Legacy. I'm feeling um, like playing this because I'm wearing my Ravenclaw shirt. So, okay, we're going to go to during the weekend. Tapos mag Zelda na lang tayo ulit by Monday. Um, if I recall, I'm not sure yung mga quest na gagawin natin for today. Pero gawin na lang natin yung parang top 3 doon na pumasok. Uh, I think kahapon or kagabi maraming outpost na nat na natanggap tayo. So... Sige, I think this is within um, Hogwarts, so let's do this and this. Tapos, before that, let's give the... Let's talk to Cressida. This is Cressida, right? Let's talk to her first, since we got the books already. Let's see kung exciting din yung ano na to, um, gameplay na to as yesterday. Yesterday, we, we encountered centaurs, um, dragons, and even heard about more people. So, I don't know kung anong meron ngayon sa ating laro. So for today, um, I'm actually planning for a uh, Japan itinerary. Kasi ano, parang may plan ata to go there um, this year. Indeed, your so, field guide. I'm syempre, hindi mawawala yung ano. Hindi mawawala oh, yung... you! Just the person I need! Samantha, is Universal everything all right? Studios. No, no, it's not. It's my brother so we William. Can see the one I told you about after Charms Hogwarts passed. Castle. He's he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. He simply oh, never listens. This is listens. a different person. I I'm thought sorry. that was Cressida. How exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress and mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. I'm so sorry. That sounds like a trying situation. I'm glad you understand. Everyone else just laughs at me as if it's a joke. No compassion at all. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor, Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that weren't possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. How awful. I can see why you're upset. He definitely needs some help. Exactly. He may be a cape flapper, but he's still my brother. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever. Especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Brainless now I worry mistake. that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. 
You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Oh, come on. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? What if I say no? Why was Marmaduke's tomb cursed? The curse is the result of an intense sibling rivalry between Granum Dale and his younger brother Marmaduke. Marmaduke was a famed herbologist, and Granum resented the attention that he received. Sibling rivalry? Sounds as if it might run in the family. But I would never intentionally curse my brother. Not like Granum did. When their mother died, Marmaduke was given the prized family crest. Granum felt that as the eldest child, he should have been given it. Years later, when Marmaduke died, Granum stole it and cursed the tomb so that none in the Dale family could ever pay their respects. I can take the crest of Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. Yeah, right. Thank you for your yeah, help. Right. My family is indebted to you. Not go there yet. But 15 yung level, so kada kaya yun. But anyway, I will track this quest again. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. What? Diba may isa pa siyang ano? Owl sa atin? I think I can open this now. This is level 2? Or have I opened this? Pavelio. A relief to finally have an answer as to why that fortune Any luck is. finding my diary? Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief! Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my <laughs> Defense against the dark. Okay, so where to next? New gear. New wand. Let's try to walk so we can explore Hogwarts more, I guess. Revelio. Alam ko dito talaga yung ano eh. Somewhere here, I think yung kay Harry dun sa... I think that's Order of the Phoenix. I'm not sure. 
Basta yung may Felix Felicis and yung si Professor Slughorn. It's Peeves. Why is why is he here? Rebellion. Nothing's as clever as playing with fire. Why are you here, Peeves? Don't even get this. Do I talk? Can I talk to you? <laughs> Anyway, what is this hall? Alohomora. Mind now, demi guys. Oh, it's a demi guys. But it's morning, so oh, no, I'm gonna explore Hogwarts during the the night. Yes. Let's change this. Eh, let's change this to morning. Yes. Rebellion. That's the Dalian key. A uh, Dalian key, right? Faucet for it. Yeah, but where is the key? Oh, there. Yun yung technique dun eh. You have to slap him first when he's like going na. Tapos pag mali, hintayin mo lang yun kasi yun na yung actual na lipat niya eh. <laughs> I already got the, the technique for it. Is this potions class? Oh, it's potions class. I can open this now. Alohomora.
Revelio. to do with you guys oh i need to talk to him professor sharp do you have a moment depends on how you intend to use it i saw an aura badge on your desk and was wondering if you could tell me more about your time as an aura mm. observant i suppose i could indulge you for a moment spent years tracking down reprobates who dealt in artifacts of dark magic origin That sounds positively exhilarating. Exhilarating? Hmm, it was at that. While it lasted, at any rate, I enjoyed a great deal of success as an aura. However, success can make one complacent if one's confidence is not tempered by humility. One overstep in battle changed everything. May I ask what happened? Hmm. Yes, well, I suppose it's a matter of record. My partner and I had tracked a suspect to a harbor in Scarborough trying to smuggle shrunken heads, of all things. I had deduced that he was working alone. I was mistaken, and they knew we were coming. From the moment we stepped onto the ship, well, I barely escaped with my life. My partner wasn't so lucky. I... I suppose being an aura is dreadfully dangerous. I'm Let's sorry. See. <sighs> it is that. But survival is not guaranteed for any of us. Pay attention. And not just within my class. This is what I must impress upon you all. A potion and a poison may be a mere breath apart until you consume the wrong one. Well said, Professor. I think we're back where we started. Or not. That was it! Pavelio. Uh, mm, which I think we can, or, or not, never mind. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. This is the library. I thought about transferring to both buttons. Rebellion. Yeah, we're back when we start. Ba nalilito ko, so umikot nga lang tayo. Okay. We went inside there. Now it wants us to go outside. Oh, she's she's just outside. So mas maganda nga kung nagflu flame na lang tayo. Fairness, matagal magluda. There I go. Where is she? Revelia. Oops. 
sorry. Not so far. Okay. It's not within Hogwarts. Pavelio. Talks me, Belasha. Boy, wait, is it snowing? Ha! Oh, Abela, winter na nga pala. I can open it now. More. the hell? Oh there. Okay, that's sweet. Now, demi guys. Alohomora. Seems like we're picking locks today. I should sell now. I'm here in Hogsmeade anyway. Ah! 
she's inside. Let me get that the the chest first. Oh, it's level three. Down. What is this? Revelio. A little more. Rebellion. So we go inside the three boomsticks. Oh, if it can be sell to all the vendors. Hey, I just wanna sell. Can can Okay, okay. Revelia! Never mind. I'm sure you have your reasons, but breaking into Alfred Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. Why is she here, here. alone? This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Oh, come on. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? It's okay. We've been through... Um... So much, so... Rookwood is working with Ranrock. 
and Renrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Vic had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. She has a kind heart, but she's also adventurous. Folks but still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. Uh, what can I sell? Here. This one. Hello there. Please uh, come in. Let me know if you need help finding anything. Yeah, myself. Or in, I'm gonna buy if my empty. Okay. Wait, let me sell first. That is a level up. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Sixty four. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Let's update our gears. So gloves will on. Before we go out, I'm thinking of changing my hair now. Oh, it's near. Nice. Balik natin sa dati ang ating buhok. Come on in! Come on in! Don't be shy! my hair before was it this one that was this one 
Wala na rin namang iba. So short. Yun na lang kaya. <laughs> Sige. You take care now, and I shall hope to see you soon. Alright. Have bunks now. Should have bunks. <laughs> Magpagupit ako, magpapabunks din ako. <laughs> Let's where do we go? Monster word. Before I go there, eh. let's go to the room of requirement first. Let's upgrade yung gear na nabili natin. Magic. Oh, it's just an appearance. Hey, there. Hey. Hey, cutie. Good girl. Good boy, good girl. Do we free them here or do we free them in the swamp? Do we them the swamp? Ah, katak. I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Actually, you should be the swamp. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Okay. You're good. I'm gonna go to the swamp. Hmm. 
Deke hasn't seen this many I can get industrial things here. Cool parts. Hey guys. Talaga tayong fooper thing. Or can I upgrade this? Fooper. We need fooper for that. Fooper again. Puro fooper. Where do we go? Before that, let's add a treat if we can, Bella. Does this have a treat? Damage will be too big as to Talas with a mandrake. Hindi recrawl na naman tayo, pero ito na lang muna siguro. Thank you. 
magic and Cynthia. Poached egg. Mamaya ka na. Ito muna tayo kay Nati. There. Divination's glass. So, wala masyadong dueling na nangyayari ngayon. More on exploration. Let's keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Uh, where are we? Pero di ba nakuha ko na to? So frustrating! Oh, there. Okay. Got it. Up here! Okay. It's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, Mother. Careful. Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. Oh. So frustrating. She's her mother. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade, she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Anamagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. That's so cool. Were you born an Animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal phial so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Can you choose what form your Animagus will take? Can you oh, be an no. Animagus? A person's Animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. How does it feel to transform into an animal? 
Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. That's so cool. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. He's already here. Sorry, I'm trophy room. Is the trophy room south wing charms transfiguration port card? Ravenclaw Tower trophy. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Mm -hmm. no! 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 It's somewhere here, but I don't know where. I think we already got the one here. Core containing two sheets armor and equipment. What? Revenia! <laughs> How many do we have anyway? Keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. If I haven't found it here, where is it? The one is inside here. Revelio. I 
can't I find it? Probably found it already, the one outside or not yet. Oh, there. Okay. Here. Just one more gobstone. How we get into Black's office? Wait, one more. Not that I'd want to go in, mind you. Well, not the keys there. The portraits in the castles and always have something interesting. Not sure if we already found the one in Ravenclaw Tower. Not sure if we already found that. We already found the one in the Transfiguration Courtyard, the one in Divination. I found the one in Central Hall Rafters. Ang hindi ko sure is yung sa outer thro trophy room or sa Ravenclaw Tower. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobstones. Okay, so it's here. Beautiful attempted a poem to bow battens. There we go. Do you realize ah. what kind of reputational damage you caused? For Merlin's sake, even the owl looked ashamed. Your school years are meant for studying, not long distance dalliance. Here. Hold on yourself. That's the last of Zenobia's gobstones. Awesome. I should go and see her. Oh, don't be silly. It'll wear off in a few hours, I think. You think? It didn't before. That other time. So, yeah, let's go find her. Where's. Up. Yeah, it's close.
Okay. There's a stair here, yeah. You can go down. I know exactly where she is. I think. <laughs> had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all of your gobstones. Really? I didn't really? think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and Google. basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Yeah, sure. Of course. They are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which... Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Right, happy to help. New gear unlocked or not, it's a one handle. Shadows of time, Sebastian. I'd rather go to Poppy than Sebastian. Sebastian is trouble. here let's talk to poppy and then let's call it a day let's just continue tomorrow Okay, where is she? Can't imagine how muggles get I think I did not drop the quest. Almost makes me feel a bit guilty. Me? It's not like her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. <laughs> what was she I sending cannot. you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, 
so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Let's do that tomorrow. <laughs> so you get it saved from there. And let's return to Dragon Egg tomorrow. Select. And override. Right, so I think that's it for um, today's gameplay. And hindi man siya ganun ka action pack. At least may mga natapos tayo na uh, quest side quests for today. So um, yeah, anong for now?